Welcome fellow bikeaholics, I am Ryan Erlacher with LawAbidingBiker.com and of course your high tech redneck. Congratulations, uh, you have landed on the best regarded number one selling complete boom box system instructional video. Let me tell you, this video, if you decide to get it, is absolutely jam packed. I put it into it into two parts, so it's two separate videos. The total of both videos is an hour and 46 minutes. It's very, very organized. Um, it's going to put it in a format that you can completely understand and you will feel very comfortable when you're done everything on how to utilize and understand uh, this boombox infotainment system. Now, it's fair to say you probably landed here because you got your Harley Davidson motorcycle. It was equipped with a boombox infotainment system. You realize quickly it only came with really crappy uh, instructions on how to operate this system. Your dealership isn't going to be able to help you. Hardy Davidson really isn't going to be able to help you. Um, you'll find that out quickly if you start looking around for support for this system. I will tell you, this video is so popular. Yes, even employees at dealerships have purchased it. Shh, don't tell. If you've landed on this video on YouTube uh, and not my uh, website, well then just head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash boombox. That is how uh, we'll take you directly to a, a area where you can check this video out and purchase it. So Harley Davidson started putting the boombox system on their touring models in 2014. It's going to be in the 2015 and likely many years after that. There are three different versions of the boombox that they've put out. That's the 4.3 non-touch screen, smaller screen. It has soft keys on the side. They came out on my bike, which is the Street Glide Special. They came out with the 6.5 touch screen, and then there's the 6.5 CVO touch screen version. I'll tell you this video will work for any of those. They all work exactly the same. So have no doubt, if you get the video, you will know how to operate your boombox system. Now I guarantee, you know, some of the stuff you find around the internet, I have seen it. There's little bits and pieces, like I say, uh, and it's helpful. But let me tell you, I purchased this uh, boombox. I was one of the very first people to have it. I bought uh, right in 2014. I bought it in late fall 2013. Um, I have put blood, sweat, and tears uh, into making this instructional video. I really want it to uh, uh, be very user-friendly and for anyone wanting to learn everything there is to know about the boombox system. Those free little bits and pieces that you get online are going to tell you a little bit, but let me tell you there's hidden menus in this thing. There's things that people don't even know about it. I have spent a lot of time. All right, so stop pulling your hair out. Stop getting gray hair. Uh, I guarantee if you get the video, you will be 100% satisfied. I receive a ton of emails from bikers just like you who have purchased the video thanking me uh, for keeping it very reasonably priced and just how much it helped them and how they were really frustrated and couldn't find anything else. They finally landed here. They got it and uh, got rid of all their stresses that they were having. I do have a strong commitment to the biker community. Anybody who has listened to the podcast or purchased any uh, of my videos knows my commitment. So anybody that's purchased the Boombox, the original Boombox video, over the last uh, year since it's been out knows that when there's critical stuff happens um, or something changes in the Boombox system and there needs to be a small tutorial video on the change, well, because you've purchased the video, I send you those updates and I keep you up to date on what's going on with it. So of course, Anybody who purchases it from here on out will also have access to that material. Now, once you've viewed the original boombox video, you've gotten very comfortable with the boombox system, you know your way around it. I need you to understand this boombox system is just a computer. It needs routine software updates, just like your smartphone, just like your computer. Harman Kardon actually makes the boombox system for Harley Davidson. You're gonna find out quickly, it's buggy, it has viruses. They're working feverishly, I'm sure, to fix that. The way they fix all those problems is through the critical software updates. Also, uh, Navi Extras actually handles the GPS part of it, the maps and things like that. You need to keep your maps up to date through Navi Extras. Now, you can head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash boombox software. I have a complete instructional video. I know that all sounds a little confusing, but if you get my uh, software update video, it shows you whether you have a Mac or a PC, shows you exactly how to get that how to download it on a memory stick, how to upload it to here. Again, you'll have no questions. You'll be 100% satisfied. I get rave reviews on that software update video too. 
Now, although the system is buggy right now and they're working on fixing a lot of things, I will tell you there are a lot of great capabilities that are built into this. One of the greatest capabilities, and I encourage you to go get my third video, that's lawabidingbiker.com slash ride planner. They've integrated with the free online service that Hardy Davidson provides, and that's ride planner. You can sit in your office or wherever your computer is. You can set up a nice long trip, however many days you want. You can do all your waypoints and stops and all that. Then you can download it. You can uh, upload it into the system so when you take off for your trip, it's all uploaded onto your boombox system and you're ready to go. It's a very, very awesome tool. There is a learning curve on it. Of course, I know that you'll be satisfied with my other videos so you know how good this one is. You'll be completely comfortable using the Ride Planner software that, that, uh, or the Ride Planner app that Hardy Davidson provides and you'll be comfortable getting it all onto your boombox system and you'll understand how to use it. I can honestly tell you that the overwhelming majority of bikers that purchased the original Boombox uh, video quickly realized the value they got and how much content is packed in there and how much it taught them. They head right back, they grab the uh, Boombox software update video and then they move on to the ride planner. And I just wanna thank everybody for all the positive feedback you've given me uh, since creating these videos. So what are you waiting for? Stop stressing out, I did it for you. And of course, don't forget to head over to lawabidingbiker.com, bookmark the site, huge resource for bikers. There is a ton of free content over there, videos, there's some for purchase stuff, there's blogs, of course, we've got the weekly podcast going on. Uh, so head over there, check everything out, peace out, keep the rubber side down, shiny side up. Enable SMS, it's checked, that's the way I want it. You can go and uh, you know uncheck it there, check it, and basically enabling SMS is your text messages, guys, short message, um, and it switches it to AM. We went back to A functionality if you actually open the jukebox compartment and uh, you actually plug your phone in with your charging cable, your USB cable. If you actually plug your phone in, which I'm going to do now, on your right handlebar cluster, there's an information button, and at any time you can push that out of field and makes it, you know, tells you what you're playing, AM, FM, or if you're playing music on your, you know, uh, smartphone or whatever, it tells you the song or whatever. In the left field, you don't have any control over that. And go to another one. So there you go, guys. That is uh, one of the capabilities. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down. All right, and I told you there's some capabilities uh, aside from just seeing your album artwork now that the phone is video. This is for if you wanna record your trip. Um, so if I go back to find, now it's playing that episode of a different podcast. Let's go back into there. Let's go back into podcast. So what we'll do here is uh, main menu. Of course, I'm just gonna go over to comms. Rob there, that name is associated with that address. This is a natural up and down. Let's say I want 94.5 right there in my number one slot for my presets. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go to ringtones. And again, they have their own, you can select their own ringtone or we can load a ringtone. I'm gonna hit that. And this is our right data field, all right? Let me go back really quick so I can, it restores it to basically the defaults that the, that the system uh, it has already set up like time restrictions, unpaved roads, stuff like that. Um, let's go back out. So that's what, the, so I'm gonna hold in on the home button. All right, and uh, now I can clear all two. So that way every it'll scan for everything. That's just easiest for me. So up and I'm gonna go, if you wanna save while you're in address, right there, you can save it. So if we were actually, let's go back and go to our map. And we're on and out. It's there in case you ever need to use it. And that's one of the only things that I know about that you actually have.